and then some church flapping your ankle chains around, all on the choir, breasts hanging out, lips all red, nails painted red, purple, blue, green, long like bird claws, all this fake hair, breast implants, toenails painted with little fake diamonds in it, your toes ain't richer. You're nothing but a prostitute. Amen. Amen. Yeah, man. So go ahead, go to church now. Go to church. You're nothing but a singing hoe, a shouting hoe, a organ playing hoe, a choir director hoe. Hey, hey, preacher, preacher, preacher. If what I just said describe your wife, you're married to a hoe. Amen. Am I right, I said? Yeah. Talk to me. Six four one. Feel free to call in. You know what I'm saying. And and, and listen, man. Let's have a discussion. You know, I leave my lines open for everybody. You know, you ain't got to make a video. Call in. <laughs> and, and 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 convince convince me. What what what's that guy? What's the guy, man? I like that guy. Uh, Stephen Crowder. Change my mind. Maybe y'all right and maybe I'm wrong. Let's go. Let's hear. Let's see, man. Get some shot town energy in here. Seven seven three. Who we got? You are a Jap. Church check in. Church check in. Talk to me, baby. Look. Yo. Again. If Malcolm X and Red Fox was one person, it would be you. Like, bravo, Jeff. I'm clapping my hand. Yo, the, the research, the critique, the research, the critique, and analysis that you did on this uh, on this um thing is bravo because this is a disease. A lot of you sim fast niggas. This this is the actually the prerequisite of the sim purge that we got to go ahead and commence in 2022. Mm -hmm. But sound a horn, bro. <laughs> now, bro. <laughs> these are the, the rudiments of what these dudes is trying to go ahead and articulate their bullshit too, bro. Not just like the strag. They want to articulate their bullshit talking about you paying either time or you going to pay some cash to get that ass. Oh, Calvin ass nigga. Mm. You did. Yeah, Jesus. Calvin was now, you, like a month Y'all do know. <laughs> now you do know that this uh, particular uh plague with no name that we ain't going to uh, explain supposedly sexually transmitted on top of that have y'all ever did the research and numbers and these metropolitan cities that y'all love to go ahead and fly out or get these bitches flown off to have you uh did the research on the uh, statistics of numbers of diseases in them areas especially the hotbeds of atlanta y'all do find out chick that might have the highest risk of chlamydia syphilis gonorrhea super gonorrhea thank you boomers <laughs> um, oh, uh, the HIV, you know what I'm saying? The, 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 the dreaded HIV word that took Charlie Sheen out the game, you know what I'm saying? Tiger Blood and all. But y'all still want to articulate doing this bullshit because you want a chick with a fake fat ass and some perky fake titties with a makes up, caked up face and a fucked up attitude. Really? 
damn jab. What, 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 how these niggas be explaining they still coming off of uh, 730 Halstead? You know, that's around my old area, oh bro. Oh my God, please don't how talk about that. <laughs> bro, that is embarrassing, Yeah, bro. nigga. Bro, you, not only do you have the, the, the hot to trot stop, you got the uh the, the so called uh boys with the uh thing between their legs out there selling the same thing. Trans gentlemen. Trans gentlemen. Thank you. Trans gentlemen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. These pervs. Yeah. These so called gang gang. All these dudes around here that I I I would expose a lot of these so called killers demons out here that be got caught. You know what, man? You know you know what's so crazy? Off. You know what's so crazy that. You know, with this man's circle and shit like that. Niggas always critique, oh, yeah, yeah. Dude, we, we, motherfuckers be donating this, this, and this, this, this. You know what I'm saying? Why? Oh, you get donations. Dude. But they so generous to these bitches. To, for pussy. Yeah, bro. They generous yeah, to these bitches that don't even get pussy. Hey, 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 Jab. Hey, Jab, this shit have, have evolved since back page, bro. Hey, not I hate I hate to say it. I thought originally from get go, Facebook was really a fucking hookup app. You know what I'm saying? To talk to bitches and shit, and trying to go ahead and fuck with them. I thought all social media apps was that for the get go. There weren't no fucking net. I mean, networking was part of it. It was supposedly for networking, but let's be real. That motherfucker was a brothel on the internet, bro, and it kicked it off this with this bullshit. We got blamed on uh, Snapchat. We got blamed Instagram. You know what I'm saying? And now the shit ain't even on back, uh, back page no more. These, these bitches actually got the nerve to put their business on Escort Babylon. Yeah, go do research on that, my nigga. Escortbabylon.com. Yeah, I'm putting all you motherfucking perverts on blast tonight. For real, for real. Yeah, bitches still... Bitches still from old back page still take their old pictures and put it on the Escort Babylon shit, bro. Old bitches, how you gonna use 2011 fucking pictures in uh, 2022? We can tr- we, we can tell the uh, the texture of the pictures. We got uh, HD um and 4K now, bitch. You can't upgrade. Used car salesman, Jeff. Used car salesman. You gentlemen need to be care- careful with these used car salesmen. Y'all still getting y'all motherfucking shoe laces on top by these motherfucking square ass bras. These renegade bitches and shit. What's wrong with you niggas? We got to get Plus, back. Keep your game. We got to get back on a cold. Yeah. A manhood, we got to really stop letting these bitches win. And we got it. We it's like Yo, we feel I'm, it's like we feel defeated. We just letting these motherfuckers now the bitches is coming in the manosphere, <laughs> getting getting gifts bro, and trinkets. This is just like the Panther Party. This is just like the Panther Party. The Panther Party could succeed it if they did not let the fucking chicks have 50 50 power with the motherfuckers. You see what happened. First, it was P, uh, Hugh P. New. Fast forward five, six later, it, uh, Angela Davis became the motherfucking face of that shit overnight, damn near. See, this is what happened. Hold on, Every hold on one second. Hold on one second. Oh, Mr. Al was making a great point. <laughs> Women are coming to the manosphere so we could trick on them. And we're doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah bro. I mean, it, 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 the, the, the jig is up. I mean, you dudes don't have no integrity, no backbone. Y'all, 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 y'all sex drive is a half hyper drive because you, you y'all getting um, sent off by the so-called app with, with all these contraptions. Okay, this is why Black Wall Street is not been built in 2020. That's why. This is this this is the reason why I don't want to hear nobody talking about how come all these celebrities got all the money. Look, that's they fucking money. They work for it. They earn it. Why the fuck would they invest in failure? <sighs> Mr. Old Man, I appreciate you calling, big dog. Yep. Lines are open. Five oh four. Who we got? Yeah, what's going on, Minister Jeff? Yeah, I, I talked to you yesterday. Uh, on, I'm going to just say this, man. You can't be out here tricking, man. You got to put your money to good use. You know, there's... Slow down. Here, say man. that for him one more time. Say that for him one more time. Put your money to good use. Tell him. Tell him, bro. Yeah, you got to put your money into good use. You know, you got to invest. You know, invest into you. Don't invest into no broad. This broad might just hang around with you for uh, for a limited time. After she get what she want, she kicking you to the curb and find another sucker you know no there, there's guys out here paying women car notes house notes you know I, i'm not doing it jap the, the, the old time uh, old, old time my daddy told me these uh, uh four things do not deal with a woman if she got a bunch of kids 
She got coat notes, suit and loan. Suit and loan, then there's another one. Card note. I'm not doing it. If I'm going to do that, I'm going I'm to I'm I'm take care of me, Jap. That's why I, I said it, it, man have to. I, I, I'm not saying no man is perfect, but you got to have some kind of control over your sex drive. A lot of guys just don't, it just go crazy when they see a goddamn woman. Mm-hmm. You know? Jap, you're new, you, you should redo that song, Captain Saberhole. You should redo it and sing it. Rap it. <laughs> you can't save it. No. You can't do it. You know? You can't do I don't care what you do, you can't. You know? But Jap, man, I like what you're doing, man. You keep, you keep it going, man, with this manosphere. And you keep educating these younger brothers that's coming up, up under us. Appreciate you, bro. We the 80s, baby. All right, Jap, man. I need to do it. I want to shout out uh, Cash App family, man, coming through. You know what I'm saying? Shout out XL Pro Services with the $5 holler. Shout out Wes coming through with the 10-piece. Shout out Greg coming through with the $5 holler. Shout out Catherine coming through with the four-piece. Leon coming through with the 10-piece. Catherine doubling back with another three-piece. James coming through with the $5 holler. Marvin coming through with the 10 piece. Lines are open, y'all. Lines are open, y'all. We set we setting the sector on fire. We gotta we gotta talk about this. We gotta talk about this. 615, who we got? Minister, minister. So if you want to say that to Jay Wood, talk to you, brother. What's going on, family? <laughs> I want to first start off by saying I can't stick my dick in a degree. Okay. Um, we have rings, right? and right. tricking is simping. A lot of dudes in the manosphere, you know, they be tricking. And, and, and the problem is, whenever, like, we enjoy these shows, but they should be edutainment. It should be educational. Yeah. These shows we're watching, they should make us better, Okay. Every mm-hmm. now and then, I feel myself leaning back towards fucking low-level hoes, being the being savage I once was, and I, I got to keep myself, you know, educated with Minister Jap. It's like exercise for your mind and for, against that tricking, against that bullshit, against all that bullshit that drags us man down. Dick discipline, managing our money, staying focused. This I've been, is I, important. How, how long have you been following me? I've been following you since no seatbelt jab. Okay, how since, long? Uh, how long have I been? How long have I coined the the uh, the uh, the uh, the term dick discipline? And how long I've been preaching on that? It's been about six years, I think. Okay, so yeah, niggas know. So time. niggas know that I'm all about a motherfucker protecting their assets, protecting their shit. You know what I'm saying, and being better. I'm not trying to tell you nothing that's going to harm you. Yes. And that's the thing. The only way we can actually level up is with dick discipline. Yes. Okay. I mean, you can't. The whole concept. The whole concept, bro. I came up with that because I see that's the problem. Niggas niggas get money and all they do is go crazy. And then they start freeballing hoes all day and they lose it. Dick discipline is the way. Look, this whole subject of tricking is about dick discipline. You got, like, and that's the thing. I've never tricked, and thank God for that. I have been a savage, but I never tricked, okay? I never gave a, uh, gave a bitch no money for pussy or for head or for time or for attention. So I've been very fortunate. Now, but the levels of tricking that I've seen, you know, I, I, I got family in Atlanta, and I got family in Chicago, and I've seen tricking at a scale that I, like, I have been fortunate and unfortunate that I didn't have the, the resources to throw away four find all the strip club, okay? Looking back at that shit, like, man, how could you throw $500 away at a strip club? It's, it's mind-boggling. No, but, like, but, then, but then the trick, my... the, but the trick logic would be, oh, it ain't tricking if you got it. Who the I, fuck, look, when the fuck we thing. stopped, when the fuck did we get so much money that we don't value money? When the fuck did we value hoes more than anything? Exactly. That's the God thing. damn. When do we value hoes that's, more than we value ourselves? 
we value whole like I I have seen and my homeboys had this issue, and we be they they be looking at me like I'm crazy. I be I be sitting in links to your videos, and the thing I said, look man, we can't get to the point where we value ass more than anything. I mean, we will literally trick fight niggas, pass out money, uh 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 miss work, be late for some shit that's important over a piece of ass. And and like dick discipline is everything, man. Yes. And tricking, like the problem with tricking is the ultimate lack of dick discipline. Okay. You so you so trigmatized and, and, and hard up for ass that you're gonna take the money work so hard. Like you can't brag to me about money if you take the, the first time you get some money, you run to a hole to buy some pussy. <laughs> I mean that, that you can't tell me you have any kind of in intellect, intelligence, these hoes, the pussy is worthless. They give away the niggas they don't even like. Bitches are fucking niggas they don't like. Bitches are fucking niggas that don't like them. And bitches are giving pussy to Look, dykes are getting pussy. Okay? <laughs> you paying for it? And you paying for it. Like, those are all I people, I just named people got it for free. And you paying for this it. This niggas getting coming fresh home from like, jail that's getting pussy. <laughs> I mean, dude. They ain't even got a driver's license. Got, they ain't even got a state ID that's valid. They just got out of the joint. Getting some pussy. I got a son. I got a baby bomber. I can still get some pussy. Okay. I, but I'm sure there's some nigga out there cakewalking that bitch up and down the Cheesecake Factory or Jeff Rube, wherever she go with them niggas and paying to, to get some of that pussy I already done went through. Okay. That's, that's the sad part. When you think about it in perspective, you take it in perspective, you know, niggas value pussy more than they value their own lives. Niggas in Atlanta, I, I was down at strip club in Atlanta, down in, I was with the Magic City of my cousin. Okay. You know, for, he, for his bachelor party. Okay. And, and Atlanta has the most trick, trickified culture I've ever seen in my life. Oh, yeah. Nigga, there was, there was more money on the floor than... In the cash I register. Probably could see it up. There's more money on the floor than the cash bank. register, nigga. Yeah. I mean, you would think the motherfuckers from the bank robbed the bank, took the money, took the bags of money, just threw it all in the air, and it landed on the ground. I mean, you can't tell me that we need money in the black community. Shit. Have you been to the black strip club, nigga? Nigga. Nigga. God damn. <laughs> if you look at all that money on the floor I mean, at Magic City. I would say maybe 10% of the motherfucking niggas in there gonna actually get some ass that night. I would say less than that. Mm. And I'm gonna tell you this. this is the, the sad part is this. That was on a, on a Thursday night, a Wednesday night, okay? I can't imagine what happens on an all-star weekend on when the damn uh, uh, whoever's in town to play the, play the Hawks or some shit. Or when, uh, you know, God knows how much money gets thrown in that motherfucking flow in a year's time. Okay? So, tricking is a serious problem in the black community. We, like, the white man, my white man had been at tricking, and the niggas have mastered that shit. Oh, my I mean, God. God. Oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, dude, it, it, you can't tell me they haven't, I mean, y'all niggas, lame niggas are mad at fresh and fit. For trying to tell y'all niggas don't buy box. That's uh, that's their whole that's the whole beef. Don't buy pussy. That was all they said. And niggas that buy pussy got mad because other niggas that they support that buy pussy, you know, they made them feel bad. You niggas are buying pussy from you. Do you understand? Listen what, to how those bitches talk after, after you buy it. Look at what they say about you. Oh my God. Yes. Like there is no loyalty in a woman. She don't give a fuck. She will expose you on TV. She don't care if she exposes herself, as long as she can take you down. And dude, I'm gonna tell you this: if if you learn nothing from watching that show, these hoes are ruthlessly just deviant people. There's no love. There's no there's no honor in a in a fucking prostitute. You're not safe. She don't keep your secrets. I mean, y'all niggas must be crazy to trust a hoe. She look. You know what a bitch had to go through to get to the point where she sell pussy to a stranger? <laughs> where she take a, where she's taking her clothes off in front of red long haul truckers in a closed room in the middle of the night. You know what kind of fucked up shit she had to go through to get that low in her life? Mm -hmm. And you gonna buy pussy from that bitch? 
She got no value left if she's selling pussy to a nigga she don't even know. And think, I guess the thing, Charlie Sheen was still buying pussy after he got the AIDS. <laughs> Let's keep it a stack. A whole bunch of niggas, a whole bunch of niggas who caught the package are still buying pussy because they don't want to give it to somebody on action TV. Here's the thing. You can give it to a bitch that work in the industry, in the sex industry, and not feel bad. Them niggas are buying pussy from hoes that sell pussy to niggas with the HIV. Bro, I That's appreciate your call, bro. This shit is getting crazy. Go ahead, brother. Let's see, man. We got some motherfuckers been waiting for a minute. 720, man. Who we got? What's up, Jap? This Bluff City was going on. Church check in. What up, bro? Hey, man, I'm glad you talked about this because one of the, I think one of the worst forms of tricking in today's time is, uh, you know, these dudes who, like, spend all this money on these TV girls. Who quit. Yo, know. talk into the phone, brother. How about that? Is that better? Yeah, go ahead. Talk in the phone. Okay, so basically, like, with these e-girls on Twitch, they're bar- these are barely above average looking women. And I see and I see them get, like, $100 donations, $200, 250 some guys send them three, four, five hundred dollars at a time. I've heard one story of one dude going homeless. This is what I'm telling you. This 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 man was homeless, sipping for that uh, what's her name, Pokemon or whatever the fuck. Mm-hmm. He sent her his entire life savings, man, and has zero chance of ever meeting this chick. She'll never touch his dick. She'll never give him the kiss on the cheek. Nothing. He felt mm-hmm. he felt like he like this chick deserved all his money. Yeah, I heard about that the webcam, that webcam tricking, that webcam tricking. Yeah, that shit. Yeah, it, it, it's it's really bad. It's like here's the thing that the girl ain't she ain't, the girls don't even have to do anything sexy. They just some some sit there and eat cereal. Some just sit there and go to sleep. And these dudes are paying them for that. You, they won't even show you. You won't even get to see a pity or nothing. I, I seen a live like, stream. Oh, I seen God. a live stream on YouTube. It was a chick. She was, she was up, she's rolling a blunt, you know what I'm saying? She has some nice titties and shit, and then she just went to sleep. Yeah. And uh, motherfuckers were still donating while she was sitting there with her covers on sleep. It's just a mother, like, all you see is just the covers and she just sleep. She got the yeah, webcam going. Yeah, it's like the craziest thing in the world. Like, I don't understand, like, how, do you, how is watching a woman sleep or watching a bitch sleep worth a dollar, $10, $100? How? She's literally sick. She's doing absolutely nothing. It didn't give her money. Bro, your phone breaking up, absolutely man. Absolutely nothing. Appreciate your call, oh, bro. Sorry about that. Y'all got to make sure y'all phones is up, man. We are live on air right now. 860, man. Who we got? Hey, what's good, Miss Jack? What's happening, hey. family? Hey, um, you know, I had to agree with you. No man should be paying for no pussy at all, especially in America. Where they're giving it for less than forty dollars. Yeah. Out here, depending on where your environment is. But my biggest question to ask you, since you're more of a seasonal man, what happens when the United States decides now to um legalize what we call um prostitution? Okay. Completely. Okay. What 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 then now? Because I mean they they legalize they legalize weed. That don't mean you gotta smoke it. I'm still against it. That's me. I mean, yeah. I don't. You you can do it. Yeah. They they made it legal. That don't mean it's good. That don't mean it's good for the community. That don't mean it's good for the game. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They can make anything okay. legal. They made okay. they made gay marriage legal. That don't mean it's good for anybody. Oh, that, that that's true. That's true. <laughs> so I can yeah. give a I can give a fuck if they made it legal. I give a fuck if they opened up a, a a brothel across the street from McDonald's. I ain't going. <laughs> Give a fuck. Yeah, that's I just me. I, I stand on it. I'm like, oh well, thou shalt not pay for the pussy. Oh, they made it legal now, so no, nah, motherfucker. I'm not paying no bitch that's uninterested in me to fuck me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Facts, facts, facts. It takes it and takes I, the like magic. Said, out, it takes the magic out of sex. Takes the magic out the game. You know what I'm saying? You can pull up a bitch on the Uber app and just bitch come through, suck your dick, and then leave. Uh. Come on, man. <laughs> this shit gonna get real digital 
This shit gonna get real digital and real lame. It's gonna get multi, what do you call it? Metaverse type shit. Yeah, oh my God. <laughs> you know, niggas, niggas gonna have STDs in the metaverse. <laughs> 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 Future, man, when they all those movies that we've been watching for the last 30 years is not come to fruition, man. I said, it's gonna look real poopy out here in the coming years, man. I say that much. All thing I could do is you could change your body, you could get money. These are simple things to do to improve yourself. It's not hard. If you take a break just enough and just, just focus on that, just start with the basics, you'll be good, my nigga. But yeah. a lot of men, like you said, Miss Jeff, they're lazy, they're complacent. I think that's that single mother mentality. I'm just saying, I could be wrong. Shit. All right. You know. Appreciate it, bro. All right. But thank you. The lines are open. Feel free to call in. 563-999-641. Seven levels of tricky. Who we got on the line? Hello? Hey, what's going on? 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 God, what is this nigga calling me from? God damn. Let's see. 201, man. Who we got? Oh, shit. Jappa Styles, baby. I'm back. Niggas get the last laugh. Newark, New Jersey. Talk to me, Jap. Talk to me. What's going on, family? Man, about this damn topic. You know, going back with the lost last caller was talking about, um, there's a formal term for this type of tricking that I think you forgot, but y'all brought it up. The uh -huh. term is called techno tricking. <laughs> All right. Techno tricking. What's that? And, 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 <laughs> techno tricking is basically the webcam, the webcam shit. Um, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Stands, Digital you know. tricking. Okay, I got yeah, you. That, that's techno tricking. And before I got into teaching, you know, I'm an engineer. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And engineers are the most socially awkward, non-game having niggas on the face of the earth. All right? They can't communicate to save their life. That's why they're in HR getting in trouble by these feminists who hold German shepherds at the job, especially in the HR department. Yep. All right? The, <laughs> the worst, the worst part about it, you know, give you a good example. My, uh, my mother's last my mother before my mother got remarried she married a white dude who was an engineer and was the most socially awkward dude ever this is before now not to talk about my own mama or anything like that but she was recovering from cancer okay. you know what i'm saying and he took care of her and did all the things which i appreciate him for but my mom tricked the shit out of him you know what i'm saying she, she you know he took her out did whatever hit or did whatever and the worst part about it is is that she kicked him out of his own condominium you know what i'm saying and had and kicked and, you know and had me live with him at a certain point you know mm. what i'm saying and then after that he went and uh he did some online techno tricking of himself paying all this money he got scammed out of about i want to say 5k trying to bring this uh asian indonesian chick over to the state only when he went to a Newark airport, he ain't found nothing there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So well, this is the type of, it, it, you know, engineers are some of the most perverted people. Like, they, they just have no skills. And well, they're not leaving the house. Skills, you're not going to have any skills huh? if you're not going to yeah, leave the house. The, the, if you don't yeah, leave the house yeah. and get on the pavement and really start getting in bitches' faces, you're not going to get skills. It's just like, you're not going to be a good basketball player if you don't go to the gym. You know what I'm saying? You got the dribble, nigga. You're going to miss some shots, but you then you what? might score, motherfucker. Yeah, work on your handle, work on your footwork or something, bro. But you still, you know what I mean? Like, you can't do that. I mean, unless you got a, a basketball court in, in the back of your crib, which most niggas don't. You know what I'm saying? But even niggas that do work on a uh, uh, game and are dirt poor have like some type of hoop or like they shoot rocks or some shit in the backyard. But here's like, the thing too. I, I get what you're the saying, niggas who you know play, I mean? niggas who want to better improve their game, they go play against better players. They go compete. They take what they learn. They right. go, they go, they go to the court, play with motherfuckers who actually play in the game, learn different shit, and then they become better. 
But if not when you start tricking, you're not learning nothing. Right. So it's, it's just like when you trick, it, it, it just defeats the whole purpose of the game. You know but yeah, saying? but like, here's the thing though. Pay, I, I, but here's the thing though. The tricking, the tricks, they don't care about the game. And that's why I don't understand because all I talk about is game. So if I'm talking about game, of course we're not going to trick. You know what I'm saying? So don't even involve but yourself in the conversation. You know what I'm saying? But but it, I get you. But sometimes it's like sometimes those cats, you know what I mean, as you said, they don't really care about the game. It's like you get in like 2K or something like that and then up in all the sliders while putting it on Hall of Fame. There's no reason to put it on Hall of Fame if you're going to make every shot or block every shot. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like those cats just don't care at the end of the day. And that's and, and fine. And that's fine. Is, that's fine. Because the, cause one thing about it, too, because you're not going to find it's not – see, the 18-year-olds, you can, you can change their mind. You, they're impressionable. They can learn. An older person, I don't, I don't, I don't try to save them. They don't do what the fuck they want to do. That's period. This is for the young niggas on the come up. You know what I mean? And it's very important because, like I said, I teach these kids every day. And I don't say it directly, but I do let them know there's consequences, you know, to your actions and not. And I say it very indirectly because it's very cancel culture around my <laughs> around my uh my yeah. workplace, you know what I'm saying? Praises to the church, fuck Bell Hooks, Alice Walker, and fuck the color purple as a playwright <laughs> and as a movie. I'm out, Jack. Two oh two, who we got? What's up, man? It's your boy King Moses live from the porch in DC, man. What hey, up, man? Bro? This shit is so deep, man. It's two parts of this shit, man. First, I'm going to talk about the side of it because you made a lot of good points with that, man. I think this generation is afraid of rejection. See, back in the day, we had to deal with rejection. We had to learn from this shit, man. But nowadays, like, you got niggas that's so afraid of rejection, they're going to do so much to avoid it. So if they feel that, all right, I'm going to take a broad out or whatever, you feel what I'm saying, and that'll get me closer to getting some ass, they're going to do it. Or if a nigga come up on some money that ain't used to getting no broads, they don't want to get embarrassed or get rejected, so they're going to overcompensate, buy the bitch a Birkin bag, take her shopping or whatever, take her to Ruth Chris to get that pussy. And now the bitches are so pacified that they expect it from all niggas. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So but that's see, like I said, right that, 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 created, the game. that created, like I said, it, it was like the stimulus check uh, of the game. Tricking is the stimulus check of the game, and it created inflation of the bitch. So now these bitches are overvalued. Right. Right. And it's sad. But, you know, and like I said, it's the niggas that you would least expect that's it, that's pushing the shit. You got these rapper niggas, these entertaining niggas, movie stars that are doing the shit and making it seem like it's more popular. Now, the boy, one of them callers said it before, and I've already said it before. Atlanta is Trick Town, USA. It is the tricking headquarters. OK, and that's why a lot of these motherfuckers move down to Atlanta to get their trick on. And it's disgusting. Behind them is number two is New York because they always trying to be like down south, so they they trick it too. Sad to say, but Chicago yeah, and they Miami, it too. bro, I Chicago know it. For number three, I argue with tricks every you know damn saying? day. I go out, niggas always want to have this conversation. I don't. I'm it, like, man, I'm, terrible, I'm like, man. are you trying to convince me? Because I'm not convinced. I'm not gonna do it. Stop having a conversation with me about it, that shit. It's, it's, it's terrible, but you know what the crazy thing is? They've been so hypnotized by these gypsy Jezebel bedwinches. They do this shit. This is the main thing they do. This is their go-to move, and niggas fall for it all the time. They use that defense mechanism that you're a broke nigga. If you're not spending no, no money on me, you're a broke nigga. And niggas get so offended and be like, no, I'm not broke. And then Let they start spending money. And show how you're much money I got. And, they start, and, and, and it happens all the fucking time. And it's sad that niggas fall for that move, man. Fall for that move. It's like, it's disgusting. And that should show you the value of what these bitches think of you. They only think of you as a bag. And you falling for the dumbest trick in the book. You feel what I'm saying? Now, we already got that out the way, right? Yeah. Now, I used to, you know, pimp a little bit or whatever. You feel what I'm saying? <sighs> Pimping was ruined by social media. You feel what I'm saying? So let me give you the aspect when you talk about the, the, the ramifications of, like, this tricking and shit or whatever on that side, right? I'm from D.C., so I used to be able on Route 1 in Laurel and then fucking Woodbridge, Virginia, on Route 66 in Manassas or whatever. This was before social media even popped off. Shout out to social Kenny Red. Shout out to Kenny Red. 
Mm-hmm. Thank you. A lot of them, you you already know, the motherfucking uh, social media gave a voice to a lot of these gypsy Jezebels to be like, man, I'm going to go ahead and get this money on my own. I'm getting this attention on my own or whatever. And the police don't give a fuck about the Johns or whatever. You saw in the video, they giving them niggas second chances and shit. Them niggas don't get no jail time. They get shamed. And then what happens is these niggas are so scared to talk to a bitch. They got to go do this bullshit to get the, the, the bitch and pay the money. Them niggas get so scared of jail time, they'll flip on the broad or the nigga that, that, that's pimping. And they, as soon as they put that human trafficking shit out, the game was shut down. So I know niggas going to be in the chat saying, yeah, niggas from the Bay, they still out here doing it. The ends don't justify the means. So the money and the risk that you're taking is not going to justify you risking 20 years to get busted. When it gets to the point where the, the, the man knew that black men was going to get the power in this pimping or whatever, they said, let's shut it down. That's why they shut down Backpage. All this shit. Now they're shifting the power to these Gypsy Jezebels where they can sh- set up OnlyFans, don't even have to fuck, and niggas is out here paying for pussy or whatever, that they're not even touching. It's disgusting. They, you know what I mean? The bitches going on LinkedIn, uh, linking up with these fucking uh, 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 White House niggas and shit like that or whatever. Go, and, and they're eliminating the nigga out of the equation. So that's the power that's being shut down. So they don't give a fuck. You feel what I'm saying? So you niggas want to go out here and trick or whatever. You feel what I'm saying? Go ahead and do your thing or whatever, but it's disgusting. And niggas got to realize that it's a fucking plan for the man to get the, the black man out of there, out of power, and shifting this pimping to fucking simping and tricking. And that's the powerful thing now. Because I grew up where all, I knew about giving a bitch an erection and, and some direction to the exit and the entrance. That was all. That's the only thing I gave a bitch. Now these niggas is giving out money, uh, uh, power, all type of shit. You feel what I'm saying? It, it's disgusting, man. It's sad, man, and niggas need to tighten up. And the last thing I'm going to say, too, when these bras come to y'all niggas about paying money for them, taking them out to dinner, flying them out, y'all niggas need to realize that they only look at you for your money. I want a movement to start where niggas actually start doing the shit. Take the bitch out. Take the bitch out to a fucking nice restaurant somewhere far away, whatever, and fucking leave her stranded. (laughs) <laughs> Run the bill up and leave the bitch stranded. I guarantee you them bitches ain't going to be putting no screenshots up about, oh, yeah, I got over on this nigga. I just made a bag off this nigga. She ain't going to put no fucking screenshot about her getting let, uh, stranded 50 miles away from her. Well, how about we do one even better? If you take a bitch to a restaurant, you go uh, after after uh, you order the food, you go to the waiter. And uh, you say, uh, yeah, this is separate checks. And you just pay for your check. Yeah, and then, you could. And, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and then I was just savage. Look at her. I was savage, nigga. I used to. I used to go to the motherfucking shit, run it up, get whatever you like. I hit a bitch with a look. My phone died. Let me use your phone or whatever. I'll be right back and dip off so the bitch can't call nobody. She's stranded for real. I would dip out of there. I used to love that <laughs> shit. Put the bitches in their places and teach them a lesson for real. And these niggas up in the club buying bitches tables and shit. I, like I said, when I was in the streets, I would go up to these niggas' tables, rough them for their fucking bottles and shit, trying to show off for these bitches. This is the movement that needs to be start pushing. Not this old buy a bitch a drink, you can have whatever you like. Fuck that bullshit. We need to get back to some real nigga shit, shutting this fucking trick and shit shit down and getting these fucking gypsy Jezebel bitches the fuck out of here. I'm King Moses and I spoke. <laughs> Seven seven three. Who we got? Church check in. Church check in. What up? What up? Troy, the expediting pervert. What's up, perv? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jap, Jap. I'm about to give you the real game. The whole. Oh yeah. Hey, no, no, no. Let, no, no. Tell them about. Tell them what you emailed me. Tell them about your tricking that you did. I'm coming. I'm coming right now. We got a trick testimony I'm here. Coming right now. I'm okay. I'm a passport pervert, Jeff. <laughs> Just got the back up. I moved to Columbia for a year. About to go back next week. But um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you the rundown on this shit out there, Jeff. Like, for one, I'm going to tell you, I ain't never tricked on U.S. soil. Not a single cent in my life. But, man, Jeff, I was the one making all those excuses, Jeff. Oh, man, it's only $40, blah, blah, blah. They need the money. But after you did that sh- that show a couple days ago, Jap, I wish I could have called in then. But you set me straight, man. I was like, man, I got to. I ain't gonna even. I ain't even tricking in Colombia no more, Jap. 
But um, what it's it's a mentality thing, and I think I want to call it the fine bitch mentality. Like we're so used to fine bitches, like the baddest bitches we see in the United States. We so used to thinking like we have to give these hoes something. We gotta have something to get these bitches attention. And I think a lot of us carry that same mentality when we go overseas and you seeing the finest bitches you ever seen. And now you like, man, I could get the finest bitch I ever seen for 40 bucks. I'm going. But <laughs> but Jap, it's a, it's a fucked up mentality because you go over there, man. You we still getting played. Everybody I know. You know what, man? Hand to God, I'm I'm blessed, I'm lucky. But everybody I know over there, they getting drugged. They getting fucking robbed for their passport, their phone, all their clothes out their room. They getting the they getting the Cardi B treatment for forty dollars. They getting the Cardi B treatment, chap. And niggas still getting played over there, but they figure that yo, as long as I could pay to get the baddest bitches I've ever seen, it's all right. But you know what? You know what? Every person, every um traveling dude over there says, Jap, and this is crazy. Every time you talk to a dude, if he fucked the chick and didn't pay her, that's the first thing he gonna tell you. He ain't gonna tell you how big her ass was and how how the pussy was. He gonna, I'm gonna be like, you fucked her. He's gonna be like, yeah, I fucked her, and I ain't even pay her. So they still over there. They don't want to pay over there. That's why they brag about it. And I think they got they got their feelings hurt, Jeff. They got their feelings. I'm gonna say we got our feelings hurt. But I'm reformed now. I'm, this is my first confession. That's I, 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 I'm but reformed now, Again, Jeff. man, you know this show is this is this is this is comedy education, real nigga talk. This is the barber shop, nigga. We can't have niggas getting offended in the barber shop. What if what if Jeff, niggas started? Found- what if niggas started really? I'm not coming back to this shop. That nigga was talking about Kobe. Really, man. <laughs> really. We supposed to be men, motherfucker. Jack, <laughs> it's the barber shop, Jack, man. Jack, you cracked the found, you cracked the foundation in the church, Jap. Man, I appreciate With you, Troy. This topic, you cracked the foundation. When you like coming you back said, in town, Troy, so we can else, get, so we can get uh we can get up, bro. Oh, for sure. I'll um, I'll try to get back there before I go back to Columbia, but I hit you. Okay, yeah, I seen your brother the other day. He said your ass out of town. Hell yeah, I'm driving through the mountains of Washington right now. Okay. All right, bro. Just hit me, bro. We'll chop it. All right. 909, who we got? Minister Jap, how you doing today, sir? This is the uh, Cali Sarge, man. So What's good, family? I've taken lots of I've taken lots of years of chemistry, man. Organic, kind of inorganic. Well, you know. You always say that I'm going to take it down to the molecule. Well, actually, man, you can take it kind of deeper down to that, man. You can take it down to the, you know, you can take it down to the element. All this shit started back, in my uh, opinion, it all started back with the dope boys. Hold on one second. Before you go there, before you go there, I want to ask one question, and then you can just you can do what you need to do, say everything you need to say, because you always give the brothers some good information. But... Earlier today, I talked, I t- and I've been touching on this for a while. The consequences of this tricking and actually uh, solicited sex from women and shit like that. Now, well, what is the consequences okay. of if you get caught by like from them sting operations? Do you got to register as a sex offender, or is it going to be a felony, or how does that work out for the brothers that get caught doing that shit? Okay, well, if if the person that you try to Solicit is kind of underage, uh, kind of whether or not they even knew that, um, you know, cu- you know, kind of whether or not they presented themselves as over eighteen. If they sixteen, you're going down as a sex, at, you know, like as a sex offender. Okay. Period. Point blank. Uh, two out here, it's a misdemeanor, um, but you're going to get your car taken away from you. Okay. Um, a lot of jurisdictions put they will put your picture up on a website for a John. So so the man's gonna get fucked. Mm. Kind of period, you know. I mean and, and it's and it's you know, so there's a big strip out here, you know, like it's called you know, like it's called Figueroa. Yeah. And I'm with the sheriff's department, so 
kind of we don't do much of that, but 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 it's like you know it starts in the hood, but it ends down in South Bay and Torrance, man. And I just trip, man, when you see these white guys just coming off and they're just willing to fuck off everything for a little kind of forty dollar nut. And it's just you know it's I mean so it's all so it's all kind of so it's all low self esteem, man. You know it's like you know like kind of motherfucker that still ain't got their shit in check, man. So so for you, there are going to be consequences to it, man. You're going to have the car taken away for uh, thirty days. If it's if it's under thirty, and if you keep doing it kind of over and over, you're going to be a repeat uh, uh, offender. They're going to make you go to kind of sex offender classes. So you know everything has like consequences when a uh, motherfucker ain't got no discipline. You know. Okay. For, you know, so so. So go I ahead and talk about uh, what you said. Uh, where it all began from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All this shit came back down to the element, man. It, it ain't the molecule because of. Uh, because a molecule is a is a you know kind of bunch of kind of core elements put together. All this shit started back in the days of the dope boys, man. All you know, it's like because when motherfuckers get money, man, they want to flex. They want to put ribs in the car. They want to get the cold in. They want to get the bad bitch, whether or not they got to pay for them or not, man. I remember going to school, man. You know, it's like here I am, motherfucker, six six, kind of legend capper. So you know, I mean, you know kind of playing D1 football and uh, shit. And I remember going to school for a, a year. I was like going for And I came back and the whole game them changed, man. It's like, bitch, you know, before I was like, you know, like on the top of the heap, getting bitches. Like I was still getting bitches, but it's like these these girls got used to having the dope boys kind of put money <clears> down on them. It's like, well, hey, see, but you, you see know, what that is, though? Fun, it's just what I said. I just I, I, what I said earlier about the market now and how the tricking inflated the market. So now everybody oh, yeah. who talks to a woman is expected to trick. And when yeah, you don't yeah. trick, it's like you, you know, a broke nigga. And I'm like, nah, bitch, I just ain't giving you mine. Well, it's I mean, you know, it's like what 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 kind of they just play into the male ego. You a bad motherfucker. You gonna know, spend it because look at uh you know you know look at uh you know. Go look at that motherfucker J Rock. He bought his bitch a car. He bought that, and you know, you supposed to be better than him. And oh yeah, oh you, you know, I want to outdo J Rock, motherfucker. Bitch, go sit down. You know, but it, you know, but it all feeds into our core egos, man. And you know, and, and uh, like I said, I arrest motherfuckers all the time. They out there flexing. They out there doing shit, trying to impress some bitch. And I tell them. I'm like that bitch. You trying to impress and get this money and shit? She out there fucking your, the like, you know, she out there kind of fucking the next nigga right now. Yeah. You know, it's like so, and you know, and 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 you know, it, you know, but it all ties into our core egos, man. So, right. so, so it, you know, bro, make it, it make it, uh, make it sure because I got a, I got a lot of calls. I got like seventy calls in here now, man. All right, then, it's getting real, gentlemen, gentlemen, self, gentlemen. Self fucking dis okay, self discipline, self love, and the bitches will come after that. Blessings, bro. Yeah. We got a lot of calls. I'm gonna try to take every last one of them because we want to talk about this. Four five. Who we got? Minister Jeff. Minister Jeff. This ish man. How you doing today? What up, fam? Man. First of all, man, I want to thank you what you're doing man because this is spiritual work right here because i believe this is all spiritual you know what i mean and, and our egos are messed up you know the spirit of tricking is the same as the spirit of pimping is a, is a spiritual thing mm -hmm. and uh we gotta get ourselves straight man for real i we think that man i think straight. that I mean, been... we we've, we've over analyzed this thing to the point mm -hmm. where we don't care about human interaction anymore so now it's going to be, and then these apps, that's why I say, niggas, get the fuck off these apps. You know what get I'm saying? Get off those apps. And get on the motherfucking ground, man, and, and get in these bitches' face because what's happening is we're, we're not, we don't believe that bitches, we don't believe that we can talk to bitches. We don't think, we don't think that we can really just meet women that like you. 
Mm-hmm. We don't even want to be like a bull. Yeah. We don't, we're not even focused on being like a bull. Niggas don't care no more. But, but peep, peep game, Jeff. I think part of it might be that we, we've been so humiliated for so long that we learn how to accept this humiliation. Like, we, you know, we, we expect to, these females to expect us to throw money at them. Show them what we can give them. Instead of them showing what they can give us. Yeah, yeah we, know, we 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 we, 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 we lose we losing our leverage, and we we're giving them the power by giving them the money. Like, but I got a I I, I got a question for you though. Go yeah, for it. I got a question. Given the situation where it is, because it's bad, man, it's bad, and I can see you. You ain't no ugly dude. You got your money straight. You got your life and your mouthpiece straight. So if you talking this. Then imagine somebody is don't have everything you have now. Given the situation we have today, but now, you can, what, but you the, can, but you can work with what's what you have. Plan? You can get your, you can get your, your, your body together. You can overcompensate in other areas. You can definitely get your mouthpiece together. You can definitely work on your social skills. You definitely can work on your health and fitness. You know what I'm saying? You definitely can get yourself together. You can work on your grooming. You know what I'm saying? Rick Ross is a big ugly motherfucker, but he's well groomed. Bitches like him. He dress right. You know what I'm saying? He can he talk fly. Right. He get bitches. Rick Ross don't right. have to. If, if Rick Ross do not have to really pay for no pussy. Now, if he does that, that would be stupid. Cause it's, cause the bitches will fuck him for right. free. No cut. So I mean, no there's the, there's there's aspects of it, but that's if you want to do the work. But if you don't want to do the work, which right. seems like motherfuckers don't want to do. Then that's different. You don't. Then you denounce the game, and that's fine as well. There's, hold on, hold on one second. Hold on one second. Let me explain something to you. Let me explain something to you because this is the problem mm-hmm. with this community right now. Think, I want you to think about it like this: We mm-hmm. the game, right? We the game. We okay. religion. Niggas is tricking. That's atheism, right? Okay. They have the right to okay. exist. We just don't mix. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Now, there's going to be uh, uh, religious people who are going to keep preaching religious doctrine. But it will be dumb for <laughs> an atheist to come into a religious area and try to tell them that religion ain't real. The game is real to me. And that's what's happening. Okay. Niggas is mad. Like they are denouncing okay. this game. This game don't exist. I'm like, okay, that's fine. I'm gonna keep pushing the game. Y'all can keep pushing tricking. I'm, I'm, it's I'm cool. Not, I'm not gonna, I don't go good. to the tricks and be like, listen, <laughs> listen, book Psalms 32. I don't go preaching to the tricks. I say what I say over here. The tricks come over here. There you go. <laughs> I appreciate you, man. I just want to check in, man. Give you some, give you your props, bro. Appreciate it, bro. Four six nine. Who we got? Hey, what's up, Jack? It's me again from Dallas, man. Salute to the salute to the show. What's good, uh, fam? Two quick things, man. What's happening, bro? Two quick things. Um, first thing is niggas need to start understanding. We gotta. We got to pay, and this myself included, we got to pay for our interests that keep us on point and keep us or still solving and steel. Mm-hmm. Like, I've been looking at the motherfucking chat. I've been looking at the subscribers. And for me, it's taken too long for this type of material to get to the levels of subscribers that you should have. So this is like a a put on check call to all niggas listening to this show daily. It ain't no reason for these shows that we listen to daily, like the Minister Jab show, where he ain't getting the type of money that these broads is getting on payment. He ain't getting the type of subscribers. Niggas need to sign out, sign back in, make sure you subscribe, the whole shit. This is part of the problem of the tricking. We tricking the money on shit that don't matter to us and the shit that yeah, it's matter because we here listening every day. It's more, it's more money. black men on Tasha K channel than this motherfucker. 
Look, that's sad. I'm, I'm gonna make it my goal to get this shit lit. Bro. Appreciate that, man. And I need more. Yeah, no doubt. And like I said, I put myself included in that, so myself is on check with that. And another thing with being on check, I feel embarrassed even saying this shit to this day. But years ago, like when I was a younger dude, you know what I'm saying? I'm an older chap. But when I was a younger dude, I mean, I was dating this chick. And uh, we were somewhere. And long story short, it was a guy that came into a presence. You know what I'm saying? Came into the, where we was at. And automatically, subconsciously, I'm kind of looking at this nigga like, man, who the fuck is this nigga? Like, and that never happened. But later on, it kind of bothered me like, yo, why was you feeling this way towards this dude? You don't even know this cat. Why was you feeling? It took me a while to figure it out. And then when I finally figured this shit out, and it took me a while, maybe some months, I just concluded with myself that the reason I was feeling like this towards this nigga is because in my mind, I was like, I wonder if this nigga is a, the type of nigga that my chick would have talked to, or if my chick had talked to this nigga. So niggas got to get real with themselves, man. Like, up your motherfucking skill set, keep your money in your pocket, invest in your interests, because that's what they out here doing. They not really giving a fuck about dudes out here like that. Mm-hmm. Niggas, we got to put our money in our interests. Mm-hmm. That 30 total, I don't know if you got a book on it, but I've listened to some of the, the video clips on it. If that shit ain't a book, that shit to be shit need to be a book. Oh, that's coming, bro. That's coming, bro. I'm I'm, I'm a really get I'm a really get in the detail and really get in the uh in, in the depth with that, man. Because again, like I said, I didn't come in this shit just to, you know what I'm saying, go back and forth with people and shit like that. That comes with the game, and I get that. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. I came to preach what my message is. And if you disagree with my message, yeah, you're yeah. free to do that, but it doesn't stop the 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 1100 people in here now with their eyeballs watching and learning from this shit and agreeing with it you know what i'm saying that's what i'm like 1100 people like and it's that's daily every time i look at this like you can you can't get 1100 people like you know what i'm saying like you can't get 1100 people to get along but I mean, eleven 1, hundred people to watch what the fuck is what I got to say about this topic says something, and it was more about early. We had like sixteen hundred motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. And and for for it not for you not to be making at least eleven hundred dollars from a dollar every nigga that's listening to this show is pathetic. And we got to get. Well, I mean, you know, up. again, man, you know, our priorities is different, niggas. Value. Yeah tricking and on the bitches and shit like that this information is saving them but they rather go against it you know what i'm saying but at the same time man you know it's it's what i signed up for i know i'm dealing with black people you know what i'm saying i know what come with this you know what i'm saying i know that they troll they dig aha they try they've been trying to slander me for the longest you know what i'm saying but the end of the day i'm not stopping because y'all y'all won't let me stop Y'all love what no, we, we talking can't. about. So I'm, if I'm dealing with my fans, man. I'm going to deal with my fans. Niggas can deal with they fans. That's right. And I ain't got right. nothing to do with that. And you ain't going to see me come fucking with they fans. Right. But that, but that's what I'm saying. Like, for, for daily dudes listen to the show or whenever you own and Greg Adams, you know, I ain't, I ain't trying to plug and I'm like, Greg Adams, Andrew Man. Yeah, that's my man. I, I fuck with, I fuck with all of them. And we may not all agree yeah. on the same shit. That don't mean they my enemies. But it's the same shit, though. We got a common interest, and so yeah. my my it, my my main story. goal is the bitch not winning. Now I'm hard on right. this topic because it looks like a win for the bitch, and I don't like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, exactly. It's I ain't because, with because that. They proved they shown us that they didn't like anything about us when we like all the times niggas was making all them damn love songs trying to uplift they 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 you know they uh uh. Self esteem and all that shit. When they, they didn't even have a place in hip hop music. We was making songs about how beautiful they was. And they took that shit and shit it right on. They didn't mm-hmm. give a damn about none of that shit. When we were saying, like, don't don't degrade the black woman's image in hip hop back in the late 80s, 90s, and early 2000s, they wanted to be the exact opposite of what we was trying to Nigga, if you play, if you play Dear Mama in the club, hoes is not going to do shit but sit down. They're going to be 
damn near want to leave. Right. But if you play motherfuckers, some pop deck pussy, some broke niggas don't deserve no pussy, some city girls, <laughs> these hoes go. These hoes gonna go crazy because they, yeah, and like I said, so most we got we got a stripper culture and we got a hooker culture right now, and and I don't that's want black is. men buying into it. If you following me, I'm not buying into uh, it. Oh, that's what, right, we can't we can't buy into it. But I think a, a key step, and then I'm gonna get off of here. A key step to us getting this shit right because it, sometimes it takes you know uncomfortable shit for us to get moving. Besides the dick discipline. We need to have some pocket discipline as well. And that might mean, you know, contributing to things that you are used to getting for free. Everything in for fucking free. If you listen to this show daily or whenever Jack come on or any of them other content creators. Yeah, I, mean, I put work in on these shows, bro. I, I, uh, I do a lot of prep work. I mean, I, I, I try to give y'all something that y'all can. Bro, I know. Y'all can, y'all can rock with. I don't just come up here and be like, oh, Takashi 6 9 just got got shot. What do you think? Like, man, I don't give a fuck about no, that this shit. This shit saved them lives. This is the like, game, this man. This is the game, if bro. If we'd have had this shit when we was younger, bro, if we'd have had this shit when we was young, mm-hmm. we wouldn't be going through this shit. Bro, let me take a couple more support. calls, bro. I appreciate you, though, bro, and all your support, family. Thank you, bro. Three one three. Who we got? Cap, what's good, fam? What up, bro? Dog, this shit, man. This tricky shit, man. It just uncovered so many layers, dog. You just got you got me thinking this shit. Like, what it is, man. The game has changed, dog. And like, I don't know how you. I don't know your exact age, but you were Gen X or you were millennial. What? What is you? You were uh millennial. Still old enough to remember, like you say, when you had to walk out and shoot your shot in person, physically. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we used to go to the mall and try to get as many numbers as possible. We used to go to the skating rink and try to get numbers. You know what I'm saying? We used to have to go to the bitch face. We couldn't like email the bitch or nothing like that. You had to go, you may be able to tell somebody else to be like, hey, tell her I like her. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, it was human interaction. And this is what this trick and shit is doing. It's taking away the human interaction. It's making it a transaction. Is, though, Jack, but you got to think, Jack, that's the game today. They don't have to have humor. In, they don't have to interact physically to interact anymore. And that's fine. And, and it's they don't have to, but that doesn't mean I have to agree with it. <laughs> oh, no, shit. I, I'm with you. But that because they are not doing that, they are becoming deficient when it comes to interacting with the human physical shit. That's why they can't get sex, but they can do other interaction like send fucking money because you can do it, interact without being physical. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, you don't have to. You don't have to have any verbal skills, no verbal ability here. Unzip. Yep. Or. <laughs> Or like physical, when you're doing the physical, like you say, you your physical got to be together. Your grooming got to be together. You got to talk away. You got to walk away. You got to you got to look a certain way. You can't. You don't got the convenience. Chicken is about convenience. It's easy, and it also skews your perception of what you can really get. Cause these niggas be shooting at ten pluses, nigga. You know what I'm saying? They be shooting at. They, no, you know, goddamn well, you shouldn't be shooting your shot at her, nigga, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? No, I don't. No, I, no, I, no, I don't agree with that. Uh, because you'll be you'll be surprised. It's a lot of fine bitches out here who don't get holiday. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they waiting to nigga, get holiday. They waiting to get holiday, man. It's a lot of hey, man. On the real, like shoot your shot. The worst a bitch can say is no. That's all a bitch can say is no. Yeah, I'm saying that's yeah, but these niggas don't want to hear it. no. That's what I'm saying. Not only do they stay shut up in ten, these niggas don't put in the work. These niggas to be out of shape, no money. I mean, really, only shooting through the internet because that's the best way they can. Because if physically they know it's gonna be harder, then they want to shoot at the highest one. But then my thing is, if you shoot at her from the years. internet, if you shoot up on the internet. What you gonna do when you actually get with that bitch? And that's when, you know, because I I get it. The internet makes yeah. it convenient to to you know what I'm saying to throw something. Because I met a few bitches off the internet before. 
I understand, but you still got to be somebody when she meets you because it's still got to get real. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's just, it's like I said, they inflated that, that, the market, the man, with this shit. Yeah, so the game has changed and it's fucking up niggas. It's making, it, you almost sound like one of them, uh, like the nigga that used to hoop in the NBA. That's like, I remember when it was, when niggas used to be able to hand guard. It was hard to go. Yeah, niggas, you better get a hand check. You better hand check a nigga. Now the game's soft. Yeah. And that's what the game is now. <laughs> yeah, niggas ain't fucked. Niggas get knocked down and get the fuck up. That wasn't no great for foul. But now the game is so like fucked this. up. They have lowered the rim and gave them a yep. WNBA ball and niggas is dunking and trying to <laughs> count it as stats. Appreciate it, family. Appreciate it, bro. Two four zero. Who we got? What up, Jack? What up, Jack? What up, family? Again. All right. I got a. You want to know the definition of the charge that uh, men actually get charged with? When they solicit the prostitution, go ahead. It's called assassination. Okay, and you in Texas, right? That's a felony wrong. out there, right? No, nah, it's a misdemeanor. Okay, it's just, it's just the rendezvous. It's just a rendezvous of a secret rendezvous, almost. Okay. Prostitution is actually when there, when a when an officer actually sees physical intercourse going on. But when we when we actually go after tricks. It's assassination, and then from there, the trick actually can be charged with other things. Like if you a married trick, charge out here in Maryland. Shout out to the DMV. The charge out here in Maryland for tricks that are that are married is actually called adultery. So you could actually charge a trick with adultery. Mm. So it's it, it, it's stackable charges. So you know, that's when you get the guys to flip. And just like Sarge is saying, the drug dealers are pretty much, you know, the ones we really want to go after. I did seven years of narcotic work. And wow. the drug dealers are who we really want, but the trick is always the one that, that we can pinch. Is the, he is the weakest link in any community, black, white, yellow, it doesn't matter. He is going to dime somebody out, especially if he's married, because he doesn't want this shit to get back to his wife. Wow. <laughs> wow. So it goes from tricking to yeah. snitching. Tricking to snitching. You get a two for one, Jazzy Blow to the game. Appreciate it, bro. Right now, y'all need to subscribe to Patreon. Y'all need to subscribe to anything the minister got going on because it's good game being kicked over here. Appreciate it, bro. <laughs> We're going to ride this one out because I'm really, really serious about this topic, bro. Um, I want you guys to really understand the, the psyche of what it is, um, you know what I'm saying, being a trick. You know, I, I got the clip. I got to, let me pull this clip up real quick because I, I got to show you guys. I got to show you guys. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Here we go. Here we go. I got to show you guys because this is what I just don't understand from the trick and how they enjoy this. Okay. I want to show y'all something real quick. Um, from a movie. It's a movie scene. We all know this. We all know this, Mr. Nate, okay? Mr. Nate and Stormy, okay? And Stoney, I'm sorry. Stoney's hard up for money, you know? And Nate gives her an opportunity to get the said money. Now, he tells her, you know what I'm saying? Well, if you want to get what you want, I got to get what I want. 
You know what I'm saying? Now this is what this is what the tricking is. She don't want to be there. She don't want to do this. But she got to for the money. I'm sorry, y'all. I need I need somebody to call and tell me that this is tricky shit is the shit. Because when you go to when she actually has to do you, look, this is her face. She don't want to be on. <laughs> she don't want you, dog. She don't want you, dog. She's fucked up about this. You know? This is you. Having a blast. You doing everything. You having a blast. You know? Come on now. Come on, church. I'm in a bind, Nate. Yeah. She's in a bind. Now Nate is in that behind. This is a tricky. When you say tricky, this is what I see. This is what I see. This is what I think about. You know, a bitch that don't want to be there. A bitch that don't want to fuck you back. She don't want to fucking bike. She don't want to fucking bike, man. She don't want to fucking bike. Come on, man. She ain't fucking bike. How is this fly? <laughs> How is this fly? How is this the shit? How? How, my nigga? How? Somebody call in and prove me fucking wrong. <laughs> How is this fly? She not fucking bike. Not fucking bike, my nigga. She about to damn near cry. You're disgusting her. What are we doing? Do you really want a trick now, fellas? <laughs> Is it really worth it now? If that's how. If that's if that's what you're gonna get for paying for pussy. Nine four one. Oh yes, you brothers, y'all better save your change. Deacon Weasel coming to tell you, y'all need to save your goddamn money. Man, some of y'all ain't got y'all teeth fixed. Oh, you need dentures in your mouth. Oh, a lot of y'all don't even got nowhere to stay. You're still living in grandma and auntie house. Oh, it's times it's too hard for you to be drinking and you know you ain't got it. Oh, you ain't seen little Nene. Why some of you men, y'all use that whole ugly ass income tax check to buy Brenda got a baby from down the goddamn street. You know her coochie ain't no good. You know the woman don't even shave. You know she smell like onion rings from Burger King. So man, it's time for us to get it together. Some of you niggas got holes in your goddamn drawers. Stop trying to use tricks and use that money. Oh, you're using your social security money. Oh, you're buying and taking pictures with the ass got. Oh, man, some of you owe your mama money. So why you you living sleeping at the bus stop? Man, we got to get it together. Stop using that money. You can buy toilet tissue. You wiping your ass with the with the holy Bible. Oh, Lord have mercy. See, we got to get it right. We want to look rich but live nigga poor. Oh, we want to act like we got it, but we ain't got shit. And see, now is the time. We in Joe Biden's in America, and they don't got that nigga man in none of these mandates. So we got to save. We got to work hard. If you're selling cocaine, fella, boy, you better make sure you put that money up. Because right now, it's no tricking if you got it. And save all your change, act strange, and live broke every day. And it's Deacon Weasel, Shalai, he, blah, 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 and I'm out. That was smooth today, Weasel. 
three one four. Who we got, man? What up? What up? What up, man? What up? What up, Jab? What's happening, fam? Chilling. Um, I'm a trick, man. Sorry to hear that. You bro. say it called. I'm a trick. <laughs> I don't. But let, let me tell you something. Let me let me let me explain to y'all, brothers. Y'all young brothers out there. I'm, I'm older. See, hold on. That's all I sell y'all niggas all the time. We only get that trick and shit from older cats, man. Let me let me let me let me tell you something. You gotta pay the cost to be the boss. That's what tricking come from. That's an old saying. It goes all the way back to the forties. You got to pay the cost to be the boss. Okay, what you paying? What you paying? What you paying? I don't pay prostitutes, dog. I don't listen. I don't pay prostitutes. Are you paying? Hold on. Hold on. Do you think if you wasn't paying, and this bitch would be interested in you or sexually attracted to you? I don't. It don't even matter. Cause I yes, got, it does. I got it. If she got, if she got it in her mouth and in her box. I got it. It don't matter what she thinks. Cause hey, you I'm paying for any. pussy, and you're telling the young niggas to do this. No, I ain't telling them to do nothing because a lot of them ain't got it. It took. I man, I've been, I've been making one hundred fifty, two hundred thousand dollars a year. I drive trucks, dog. But you don't got to pay for pussy. Truck when niggas didn't even know nothing about it. Hold on, hold on. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. And do I, you think you do you think you have to pay? Hold on, hold on, bro. Hold on, slow down. Do you think you have to pay for pussy? No, I, I'm not no ugly fat nigga. So why the fuck but are I you like doing it? Good time. So, I like good memories, dog. No, 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 no. So hold on, hold on, hold on. So are you are the are the bitches? Let me ask you. Are the bitches asking you for money or you're offering it? No, 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 no. We go out. I meet them. We go out. I'm paying. That's not tricking. I'm paying, dude. That's not tricking. I do whatever it takes, but but you know what? I think it is. Hold on. You, but that, but, and you can think what you want. Warning. That's not tricking. Well, hold on, hold on. Taking a bitch out but is not tricking. Trick. What I'm talking about is, are you giving her okay. tangibles, resources, investing in this bitch, giving her cash, and helping her kids? Hey man, I nickel and dime these hoes when I trick. I ain't giving these bitches no motherfucking. Out, I ain't giving them no outlandish money. But like it, but why NBA trick when you don't have to? Wrong. You just these said you don't have to. Cars, dog, Benzes and all that crazy. But stuff. But you just said you, you don't, don't have to trick. You called in and said you're a trick. I want to know. I am a trick. Okay, why? I'm a trick to a certain degree. Why? We all trick. No, we're we not. Like no, we're not. We all trick. No, we're not. We spend that money. I'm no, not we're not. Trick. I don't pay women for sex. What are you well, paying for then? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Way, if you're not paying for sex, I, what are you paying for? Hey, hey, listen. We all paying for sex. Man, I'm asking you a question. I'm asking you a question. I'm asking you a question. What are you paying for? What do you want from her? Well, you know what we all want at the okay, end. Okay, so you want sex, we want but you and you and you said and you profess that you don't have to pay for sex, but you still choose to. Listen, I want to have memories and good times. If I want to go, say, take a trip to the Grand Canyon, get the hotel, the whole I like nice hotels. I might pay 250, 300. You're buying a hotel. You need a place to fuck the bitch. If you I'm talking about what are you putting in the are, are you putting money in the bitch's hands? I'm giving money every now and then. Why? I don't give I don't there's a limit though, dog. You, what you think these niggas, these NBA niggas, these rappers? Yes, these they are tricks. Yes, dealers. they are tricks. These, these and they don't have to do it. They don't have to do it. Being that hey, nigga is is so, free. Hey, bro, listen, listen. Right, right. You're talking about the low level trick. Is what is she giving you? The fat dudes, the ugly dudes. Why don't she pay you? Pay okay, hold on, hold on. If you're worth, taxes? if you're worth a hundred, if you make hundreds of thousand dollars a year, why don't she pay you? You valuable. You don't think your dick service? You don't think your dog. dick services are hey. valuable to the bitch? When I hold on, hold on, bro, listen. hold on, bro. You don't think your dick services are valuable to that bitch? 
Hey, man, I don't know what it's about. You know, these women ain't going to tell you. You know what? I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to tell you right now. No, you are not right. valuable to the bitch because she don't pay you. It don't even matter. Because you have a trick mindset. You got a trick mindset and you got the spirit of a trick. You got the spirit of a trick, bro. It's cool. It's cool, man. It's cool, but just don't tell the young niggas to do that, man. I'm a provider. Just don't tell the young niggas to do that, bro. You see, that's the old niggas that I... I always argue with these same old niggas every time I'm out around Chicago. They We always have that same shit. They don't put no value on themselves. And they don't care. I don't care. Shit. Imagine what these young hoes are saying about your ass. They ain't working hard to, to motherfucking measure up to nothing you talking about. That's that Nate shit. I'll give her a couple of dollars. This is how that look. This is how that look. I'll give her a couple of dollars. Now, I don't be tricked. I don't buy a bitch no beers or nothing. All Stormy wanted, all Stony wanted was a couple dollars. All she wanted was a couple dollars, nigga. This is what a couple dollars pussy looked like. Bitch turned to the side. What is this old motherfucker doing on me? Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. We got to do better, fellas. We got to do better, fellas. Let's see, man. 332, who we got? And the lines is lit up. I know you. it's a lot of you motherfuckers been waiting for a minute. All right. I'm going to put you back on hold. I'm going to respect the fact that you've been waiting. Get your fucking phone together, please. I just, I give her a couple dollars. I don't really. That nigga turning the motherfucking. <laughs> Clarence Carter, Clarence Carter. 313. <laughs> Who we got, man? Jack. What up, fam? This Jack. Yeah, bro. What up? What's hey, happening, man? This is big. This is big. Big Shine original. I'm for, and I'm the one that told you yesterday. You are an overachieving, uh, founding founder, board director, CEO of a perverse. Now, this joke. <laughs> now, this joke. This joker. Now, I'm gonna let you know. I'm 50. And guess what? If it wasn't for you, nigga, I wish I learned this from you eight years ago when you was on YouTube, nigga. If it wasn't for you, you're the reason why. My simp doctor's degree was revoked, nigga. You, when you told me, like it, like it was, you didn't care about my feelings, you told me flat out, why are you doing all this for this female, won't do nothing for you, and the next nigga that calls her a bitch breaking her back. What is about that you can't see? <laughs> and the last, and then the last nigga that talk came on there, what he don't realize is this. Look, man, the problem is if you got to pay for pussy, you don't have no game. Before you go get some pussy, get yourself together first. First thing you need to get yourself, get your character together. Get your money together. If your money ain't right, why are you spending money on a hoe when you got your credit? You got to get your credit in line. You trying to get ahead. Why you doing all that? Why you ain't in the gym? So the thing is, wall boy, now nah, man, that guy was despicable. He was disgraceful. <laughs> he was, all I gotta say, man, he was a special kind of dumb as hell. Man, that's what I don't like. <laughs> he, his rationale was on some dumb as hell, man. Who do some dumb as hell like that? Talking about I pay for some low budget book pussy. You mean to tell me low budget boot? They got high mileage. I don't even want to use cars. Let him know some somebody that everybody ran through. Come on, man. That nigga this said, guy, I like and nice and memories. Said, and a young nigga like you, and a young nigga like memory. Nigga, you can't get a memory <laughs> without paying for it. Come on, man. You can't get a memory without paying for it. Niggas, I, there's niggas out here right now. Listen to me. You, you ugly. <laughs> you got nothing to offer. And you get more pussy without paying for it. Then yeah, here's the nigga, you got the world. You can look, 152. That's good. I'm glad he got that. But the thing is, you mean to tell me that you can't get a woman into you? 
Come on, man. All she want is what she got in your pocket. And she probably taking that money to spend on a nigga that would never do nothing for her. That's some dumb, man, dumb as hell, dumb as hell. These niggas on some dumb as hell. Sooner or later, they're going to, sooner or later, got that thinking well, man. Come on, man. Golly, when he said that minute, he pissed me off. Going to talk about some, man, I pay for pussy. Really? You mean something that, that get enough uh, uh, maintenance down there? You pay for it? You mean, you mean something that, she gives all the world. Why are you putting a lot of money on females who are not marriage material? Bro, I appreciate the call, bro. Niggas going crazy, baby. The fucking call line is through the roof. I ain't gonna lie. This show, I've got the most fucking calls I've had all fucking last two years. I've never seen this many fucking calls. 708, who we got? What up with the jab? What up, fam? Yeah, hey, this is Kylie Mac, man. I've been meaning to call in and uh, on this here tricky thing, and um, I just want to put the I, I, I hear the pencil and paper. I hear wrote some things down, man. But I'm a, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm gonna give you the number one. How could you feel like a man? How did you even get off knowing that you had to pay the bill? <laughs> How do you feel? I mean, you're not a man, bro. I mean, you should feel less less of a man. You just the bitch don't want to lay there with you. I mean, man, you'll feel much better when the bitch come at you and, and wants to fuck you. Then you'll feel more of a man. A lot of these tricks are suicidal because they just spit they bread. We got to be careful when we fuck with some of these bras, and they probably got a trick, nigga, man. He probably been invested so much money that he'll probably kill over this bitch, Mike. But you know, us from Chicago, us real players and pimps, we all wait first, first ass last. Facto. And, uh, I just want to say, I, I just want to say this: it ain't tricky when you out balling, buying bitches drinks. You know what I'm saying? I go out, I buy drinks because you know, let me know a real baller in the house. But I'm not never finna put no money in no bitch hand and don't know what the hell she's finna do with it. Yeah. I, I, I just, I, like I said, man, even with buying the drinks, real bitches don't ask for them. Most niggas be like, yeah. you know, they be shooting this shit, be talking to her, woo, 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 woo. man, what the fuck you on, man? Yo, get her whatever, get her something real quick. You know what I'm saying? Get the motherfucking, get the motherfucking conversation flow. See, this is social skills. And they're like, oh, that's tricking. Yeah. That's not tricking. Uh, a bitch is not going to fuck you for no Long Island. She will fuck you off one, but not for one. You know what I'm saying? So, no, bro. Now, this bitch on this picture is fucking this man. She is fucking this man for rent money. She's fucking him to pay her rent. That is different. This is tricky. Hey, Jeff. Hey, hey Jeff. I had one of my, uh, one of my hoes that used to be in my stable. She mm -hmm. got a, a home place now. Mm -hmm. So she called she called me. She wanted me to check it out to be proud of her because you know she used to work for him. Okay. I said, Oh, you probably doing good and everything. And she just went to Hold on, hold on, hold on. Dad. You key one, homie? Uh, huh? Yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 big dog. I know who you is. Okay, I see you big yeah. I see you big pimping. Okay, pimp. And um Hey y'all, this is a real pimp in the house too. This is a real pimp. It's a real she, Chicago pimp right here. She, she, was tell, she was telling me she could just pick up the phone and call anybody to just pay her rent, man, just like that. I was like, wow, baby, you really getting some real paper now. You did, but I'm about to shoot up here to Angels. Uh, I ain't, I ain't going to take too much from you. Let me get 250 because you remember, you remember how you used to do. Okay. You did, it, 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 I'll probably catch you up there, bro. <laughs> You know, but I, I just don't know how a man could feel like a man knowing that he had to pay a bitch just to lay with him. You should feel less. You're not important in this world. You, hey man, we got to stay away from these tricking dudes, man. They, 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 they probably the ones who's doing the killing. A trick scares the fuck out of me, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna even lie, man. Why is that a trick scares the fuck out of? 
I love it. Yeah. Yes. But I ain't going to hold it up. Hey, you let some man if you putting money in that bitch hand. I'm going to let you get to some of them callers, Jeff. You catch up, baby. All right, Chuck. Uh, man, that's one of the players, man. I always, he always pull up on me. Man, Jeff, I love your show, man. <laughs> I'm like, this nigga really pimping his Chicago, too. Really pimping. 332, who we got? Yo. What up, what up? Yo, uh, I'm on. Bro, speak. Yo, what's the deal? What's the deal? What's the deal? Um, you fucking simps, it's over for y'all. <laughs> Talk to him. It's over for y'all. Over, over, over. Simp purge him. Simp purge him all. That old man, I'm fucking disgusted. How the fuck is you that old and you can't talk to fucking women? <laughs> That's another thing. With being older, it should have came with a lot of wisdom. You got more years than the young players. You're supposed to be running circles around these hoes. That's fucking dangerous. That's fucking, yo, what the fuck is, like, yo... I'm uh, as a as a younger yo as a younger G like I'm supposed to like look up to these old heads like this is this the type of shit y'all y'all giving us like you just like throwing in the towel like like motherfucker you lose your whole how the fuck I'm supposed to like you got young niggas out here learning on their own that's why this shit the game all fucking fucked up yeah I definitely understand bro I appreciate your call bro seven two seven who we got. What's up? What's up? What hey, up, man? Jeff. What up? What up? Hey, man. All this tricking, talking shit, man. Are you motherfuckers getting money or not? Hmm. Look here. So Look if you get money, where do you I'm put? What? A, so what do you invest in? A bitch? I, no, man. I don't invest in no fucking bitch. Then what the fuck I are you talking about? Myself. Okay, then. I'm a union electrician, and I'm a tramp. I run up and down these motherfucking highways, coming to a city near you, man. And to all my construction brothers out here getting this motherfucking money, get your motherfucking money, man. Okay. But listen, you talk about tricking a motherfucking married man. He's a lifetime trick. He's no, 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 no. That's a married man. Listen, no, no, no. A married man is not paying for sex. You housing, you housing the pussy. Oh my god, you get that nigga. You see, that's trick justification. Trick justification. Do that shit. How can you be a trick to your wife? Now that's stupid. Now we getting stupid, y'all. A married man, he's married to, he tricks on side bitches. You don't trick on your fucking wife and your kids. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you tricking on your kids? Stop it, man. Where do they get these niggas? 310, man, who we got? Hey, what up, folks, man? This, that, this is a legendary. Uh, this is a legendary show, bro. Today, you want you want plat you platinum, bro. You platinum right now on this topic, uh, Jeff. Let me tell you something, man. At the end of the day, dog, you spoke on something a long time ago. You said these old niggas from the '90s is the problem, man. Yes, you never lie, Jeff. They, they, you, you see, they lie. keep calling in trying to tell us, man. But if you do this, I'll just give it. A Shut that shit up, nigga. That's what's fucking the game up. We walking up to these hoes exactly. and they treating us like we we the old tricking. We not the old tricking. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And, and to add to the, so here's the thing, man. We talk about these bitches from the the that generation, that baby boomer generation. We gotta we gotta throw away these niggas from that same generation. Because I'm gonna say this, man. I'm gonna say the outside of them cats who was married. Yo, man. At the end of the day. Even the international committee, and I know you don't agree with the international travel. And all, I, I feel you. No, on no, that. no, no. There's See, I'm gonna clear that up too because I'm supposed to be. Uh, I got it later on the day. I'm supposed to do a show with one of the traveling brothers, uh, Big Boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ma uh, like master, I'm gonna tell you for real, bro. I look. At I don't. Master, I, master, I, I see. They. They. Guys. See. It was weak niggas that included themselves in a conversation that was not and was not exactly. for them. Exactly, so, bro. So let me. I, so I'm gonna just say this, Brody. On his show, he showed. Take a wild guess. An uh, old ass motherfucker listening to Trinidad James or something like that, throwing all the peso, whatever that shit is, the currency in Colombia. Mm. That nigga took that Atlanta fucking tricking mentality all the way international. So oh, I got bread. Now I can trick big time. 
So the nigga showing the nigga throwing the money in the street, throwing the money. We trying to get away from that shit. What do what do these niggas kids have to say? Nigga, See these old niggas. I be wondering what do your kids have to say about your tricking? Because that money could be really, really be used for your children. You know what I'm saying? Like niggas be acting like they truly you, set up. Like they like everybody's set. Everybody's college is paid up. Everybody's got a car. Everybody everybody's set. Right. There's businesses coming in. Everybody's right. set. So I'm just throw the money in the air on a bitch. I'm gonna go pay a young That's bitch that don't even want to fuck doing. me back. That's what the nigga was doing in the goddamn video, big. And I'm like, man, you got brothers trying to get their shit together. Low cost of living. Uh, 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 businesses, money, the traveling. Period. And then you see this video of this nigga. Old ass nigga dog with, with a bra and the, the whole little village behind him is following this nigga, picking up the money, picking up the money. He brought that fucking Atlanta strip club, my nigga, with him all the way international, bro. And now, now we marks out there because they think every black man that go over there is rich as fuck like that nigga. And you got niggas dropping shit in your drink, niggas waking up, uh, 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 you know, they put the Mickey or whatever it is, they rob you, all that. It's because of niggas like him. Old ass niggas coming from America trying to bring that trick and shit to the Colombia, the Brazils, and all these different countries, bro. The nigga can't just leave the fucking trick in Atlanta or, or in America for that matter. He had to bring it with him. So now niggas is getting set up out there because there's a the good side of the international travel, there's a the bad side. The bad side is the bitches look at us like Mark does. They think we all tricks like this nigga now. That's why it's niggas like him. You know, so you absolutely right. I'll end it with this one, big dog. You ain't never lied about them old ass nineties eat the booty ass niggas who had no game, bro. You ain't never lied about that because we got niggas like that. Oh, oh, oh I'm a good, oh, I'm a good international, and then and they throw the money because the nigga like like the the previous caller, not the previous one, the one before that who was proudly tricking. It's nothing to me, homie. It's nothing. It's nothing. You fucking up their culture. I want no tricking ass culture out there. These people are like. Third world country, they poor, my nigga. They see a nigga from America, they automatically think Chris Tucker, Eddie Murphy, really the best of, of black America through Hollywood. It's the only one good thing Hollywood did for us in the international market. It made us surprised, right? Then this nigga come on in with this tricking, and it was an old ass nigga throwing it in the streets of, I forgot what it was, but it was on Master Teacher Show. But man, he preaches wealth and shit, but I don't mean to plug him, but yeah, man, the rest of them niggas, Oh, you're absolutely right. And them white motherfuckers, you know them white motherfuckers be going out there fucking with underage bitches and all that. So they give everybody a black eye, dog, who travel. They give everybody a black eye. Man, listen, but I'm not against traveling. You can travel I'll, wherever I'll the fuck you want to travel, but I'm not traveling to for sex tourism. You know what I'm saying? And niggas gonna stop no, lying no, no, like I, I, I agree with that. You know what I'm saying? I, I totally agree with that, bro. Anybody? Stop lying like no, I, no, I totally stop lying like that. I said, oh, any nigga that travels, we're against you. Like what the what kind of stupid shit is that? That's stupid. Exactly. No, I we were talking you. about exactly. sex tourism, period. And everybody just jumped exactly. in and got exactly. and turned into single moms on me. Niggas turned into fucking exactly. single mothers uh, that, mad crazy. about the topic, bro. That what the, the topic was sex tourism. Right. It wasn't your passport. It wasn't getting on a plane. No, it exactly wasn't yet. leaving your area. It was sex tourism. Exactly. Exactly, bro. You right about that shit too, man. Because a lot of them white motherfuckers that go over there and do that weirdo shit, man. I don't know, none of them black folks be doing that, dog. But that nigga who was tricking them on the streets, it, it reminded me of what you were saying. Like, damn, dog. He ain't, this is why it's all fucked up now. Because niggas is getting set up overseas behind old ass niggas throwing their money in the air. Nigga, the nigga could have left this shit in Atlanta. But today's show was so eye opening about Atlanta, Brody. It was so eye opening about Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, money, because I'm in California. You only hear about what it is. Chicago ain't never been soft. They done gave the pimping human trafficking so the niggas can't, can't do the thing. But at the same time, you going to let these hoes just be bona fide prostitutes online. So yep. America, the, the, the dude was breaking down how in them overseas countries, man, they don't give a fuck about social media. That's why everything you're saying, if you got mouthpiece, the bitch is fucking with you right off the plane. You do not need a trick. Right off the plane, the bitch fucking with you. But... I agree with you on, on, on the whole, man, my nigga, I, I just agree with you on that shit. Because when I saw that video, I'm like, this is exactly what Jap was talking about. Old ass niggas trying to get some pussy overseas. And now every nigga out there is like turning into like, niggas, you're going to get targeted and shit. You can't, you, you know what I'm saying? When you get out there now. Exactly. So it's just like, it's the same there, thing. Man, like when you go into the strip club, the coach of the strip club is exactly. that niggas want to pay for a lap dance. So every time a bitch walks up to you. She's going to ask you for a lap dance. And if you say, I don't do all that, she's going to be like, right. what the fuck are you here for? Exactly. So why would exactly. I go to Brazil? So, but I'll, I'll let you... 
Yeah, but I, I'm, I'm going to let you get back to the show, Jay. I just want to put that in there now. Like, man, I, the old nigga problem, them niggas is going overseas, bro. And just like, nigga, niggas is getting it off the whip, bro, off the mouthpiece, my nigga. Back I, I'm like you, dog. Like, if I'm not in a bitch face, I got nothing to do with the bitch. Back. Because on the internet and shit, these, uh, these niggas, these niggas want to compete with the bitches on their playing field, which is the social media, which is the Instagram. Man, them hoes is prostitutes, bro. Straight up prostitutes on Instagram. We got prostitutes here. Instagram. I don't, so, I don't. My whole thing, man, we just got to stop buying pussy, man. Let, let's just stop that shit, man. I appreciate your call, exactly. bro. Exactly. 314, who we got? 314. What up with it, Jeff? What up, fam? Yeah, man, I, I was listening to what you were saying, man. I've been following you for like three years. For sure. But like, what I had to come on this mug and say, um, the old man that called the shit remind me of my um uh, my old lady um fucking daddy. He's fifty four and he always trying to talk to me and shit about you know what I'm saying his daughter and shit because me and his daughter he found out me and his daughter was talking about adding another woman you know and that's a whole other story. The thing about him, but what be fucking me up about him? His old ass he be coming to me telling me you know the woman is always in control and some shit like some shit like that be some little weak shit like that and i'd be just listening to what he's saying i'd be thinking like damn jack talked about this like i watched that video too and he was saying some shit like if you don't take care of all these the bills and all this and that he's saying shit like that and like well are you married you know, are you, you married to her shit. are you married to her i ain't married to her okay does she her. have your child no, shit, no. Okay, y'all just boyfriend and girlfriend. That shit don't count. But yeah. if she was your wife and you had a child with her, then yeah, you take care of everything and you employ that bitch. And you had that bitch working for you. Right. That way you keep your power. So, right. I understand what he's saying. Yeah, I understand that too. But the thing about it is how he be coming up. He be trying, like, he be saying some other stuff like, you know, you blessed to have my daughter and this and that and that. Yeah, she a good girl because she was raised in a two-parent home, but when we, she be coming up to me as like an old nigga who just, you know what I'm saying, that be on this shit to try to make it seem like I ain't viable. Like, nigga. I'm well, young, I mean, is his I'm daughter full of, of is what he's saying about his daughter full of shit? Because you know her. Um, you know her. I mean, you can tell her. Ain't nobody going to tell. I mean, you can just be like, hey, man, that, that, I know your fucking I, daughter. I, man. His daughter is, I just say. I just say she good enough, like, but okay. he look at her as she innocent or some shit. You okay, know yeah, she ain't innocent. Like, see, yeah, see, he don't know the bullshit that, he don't date his daughter. He don't know the bullshit motherfuckers go through with dealing with his daughter. Just let these old niggas talk, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Old niggas gonna talk, man. That's all, man. Let them talk. Appreciate you, bro. Don't buy no pussy. Don't buy pussy. 312, who we got? 312. What's up, man? What up, fam? What's going on, bro? What up? Man, bro, you know what, man? I appreciate what you're doing, man. It's Kenny Mack again from the low end, man. For I sure. got something to say to that old fuck boy that called in uh, a couple calls me high. You know, that true simp motherfucker. <laughs> man. <laughs> Go easy on him, man, you for know he know, know not what he does. No, 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 Jack. No, no, this is for you, man. I'm going to take off for you, Jack. You know, I'm from the shot, too. I got your back on this one here, man. Simp. Hey, Jack, you know how we do it here in the shop. This is why I'm so hollering out. I make 150, 200. Hey, let me make that nigga information, man. Maybe the guy's going to make a run right quick, man. Get if he invested his 150, you know in his, in his 150 or whatever he was in the right shit, he could be making a quarter meal, but he want to invest in a bitch. What the fuck? He want to invest in these hoes. See, because that motherfucker, he can't. He can't get good memories without his money. You see what I'm saying? Man, I get good memories all the time, Jap. I'm going to tell you, man. I got three, four chicks right now, man, that mess with dudes like that. Man, be taking me on trips, taking me places, man. Brought me two cars. Man, I ain't trying to brag or nothing like that, Jack. But I'm going to tell you, man, my charisma, my mouthpiece, my game. See, that's what got me what I got with these women. I don't have to pay for nothing because I got game. If these men get do something about their game, man, get some social skills, like you said, man. You know what I'm saying? Uplift their sales, man. View their sales as being worth more than they are. Then they wouldn't have to do all that, man. There is consequences to tricking, man. This stuff is real, man. Catching diseases, going to jail, all that stuff, getting killed, getting, getting caught in situations, man. It's crazy. And it's benefits for not tricking. The benefits of not tricking is these women will respect you, man. They will respect you. You know what I'm saying? Jap, I'm going to let you go. I know you got a lot of calls, man. Keep Appreciate doing you, bro. Jack, one day I might bump it to you. 
510, who we got? Hey, Jeff, man. What up, man? Remember tricking was a taboo? You said what? Remember tricking was a taboo? Yeah. Remember back in the days when, you know, you if so, somebody would say, oh, that's a trick, baby, and you, you'd be like, damn, trick. Like, what the, like, you know, that'd just be a, a secret. Yeah. I just think that, you know, a lot of these cats, man, it's it's a lot of nerdy cats that's been be, becoming cool nowadays, man. You know what I'm saying? And they having money. And they ain't really out there gamed up, so they just hollering at anything. And, it, it, you know, when they hollering at them, they ain't, they ain't talking about no game. They just talking about money. Oh, I got a car. Oh, you know, I got the APO and I got the Rolly on. So it's it's all out the window. The game is really out the window. It's more, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of cats going to call and say, oh, yeah, man, tricking ain't, you know, that shit ain't cool. But it's like, there's so many suckers out here that's winning that you can't even really, you can't, you, it, a real one going to be mad about it, but you can't be mad about it because it, it's a lot of suckers in the game now. You know, it's a lot of suckers. I'm talking about state to state. But you know what they say. Like, oh, they, you know what they say when we talk about it. when we talk about tricking. They say you're hating. So you telling me I wish I could trick? Because if I got two hundred thousand dollars, you think I want to give it to mm -hmm. a bitch? What kind of Hell fucking nah. shit. What kind of sense is this? Hell no. Nah, but guess what, baby. Baby made it cool first. I'm talking about Baby from Cash Money when he was talking, when he said if it ain't tricking if you got it. When he said that line and all the cats that got money was keeping it on the low that they was tricking and then hell the niggas just talking about, yeah, oh, I got my bitch or this, I got her that, I got her this. So the game changed and it came and it changed through rap. We know it's always been tricks. We know that. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's pimps and his hoes because somebody going to pay for the pussy. But at the end of the day, Rap niggas made it cool to, to trick. So mm -hmm. now the young niggas that's growing up, up under these, uh, underneath these niggas that, and influenced by rap, they think it's cool just to be a trick-ass nigga because the big dog said, oh, it's cool. You see these niggas on all type of Instagram and on, 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 on all the little platforms with a bitch and she got more diamonds on than the law now. You know, this was just a broke bitch two, three months ago on Instagram. But she fucked with the nigga little baby or any of the cool little rappers that's out. Now this bitch driving in a in a in, in a Maybach of Benz. The nigga uh money bag yo, his bitch. He didn't bought this bitch the whole. He bought way. another he nigga's tricky. baby mama a motherfucker. That's tricky. He bought a fucking Lamborghini truck. Come on, man. Come on, man. What so kind of niggas? About, these? So everything you talking about is everything you talking about is real shit. But it's a core to that shit, to, especially in 2022. When you all, anybody that's listening to Jap right now, go look at Instagram, the, 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 the local rapper or the nigga that's putting on. Anytime you get a bitch, you got to buy the bitch any Birkin bags. That, them motherfucking bags cost $10,000. I ain't never bought one. I ain't never bought a bitch. When and I ain't I'm never not to planning on buying one, one of them shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not buying a bitch no problem. I, it, man, the type of money these niggas spending, man, you could be dominating the stock market, the real estate game. They niggas gotta stop, man. Stop with this trick. Buying your buying your poor ass family some houses down south, them cheap ass houses. Yeah, or in man. Detroit. You can get your auntie that ain't got shit that's in the projects right now. Five I hate houses. to see niggas and tricking Detroit on bitches when they homies south. fucked up. When they homies fucked up and trying to do this, this, and that. Man, if you gonna just throw money away, give it to the people that really fuck with you or something, then. Niggas, and, and, and but I can't tell I, again. Right now, I can't tell a nigga what to do with their money. Is it? Right, whatever, man. Oh, man. I appreciate yeah, your call, bro. One hundred, bro. I go. <laughs> Who we got on the line? Minister Jab, Minister Jab. Ah, she fought himself here, Minister Jab. Talk to him, Ash. Now, first thing first, Minister Jab. <laughs> All the niggas got to go. <laughs> Number two. Arr! All talking points gotta go. Arr! Now, Minister Jeff, how you know by now, here in the continent, we are the big tricksters. Pick the game now, Minister Jack. Mm -hmm. These tricksters, they don't use their hard money. It's either illegal business, coming business, or any bad deal which goes away. That's how they use their money. 
Mm-hmm. Number two, Minister Jab. The traveling brothers who normally come here in the continent, Minister Jab, I can tell you I've seen it coast to coast, northwest, east, south. I've seen it. These brothers come here tricking, and when they trick, their drinks get spiked and everything go is stolen from your passport, your credit cards, everything. You come here here when you're gullible, you'll find it's a totally different minister job. Number four minister job. Now, here, when you trick, you you have, you can't trick like that. There's two ways. In your country, you run away from the police. Here, you run from the prostitutes. (laughs) <laughs> All right, Minister here, here you run away from them. And if they mark you, they get you, you take yourself to the police to report your stolen properties. Now, West Africans are the biggest tricksters. You see them on the internet. Here in the continent, they are digital. They have WhatsApp. They have Telegram. They have Facebook, everything. They sell you digitally. But when you meet them, it's a problem, Minister Jab. You get robbed. Anything you have, even get killed. I've seen a couple of people getting killed, Minister Jab. Here, you don't pay pussy. Pussy, you get it with your mouth mouthpiece. No shortcut about it, Minister Jab. Come here and start tricking. You'll find it rough. You'll go back home without nothing. Only your passport and your mother or your sister, whoever, is going to send you fair back home. Here it's no joke. We have prostitution is there. The police won't catch you, but the prostitutes are going to deal with you. Clearly, perpendicularly, steal from you, do anything, even rape you. So, be here. Now, to finish off, Minister Jap, let these young brothers, new talking points you should be getting, Jap, let these young brothers go outside in the streets. Let them create that self confidence and talk to the women. Don't pay for any pussy, because even me right here, I've seen it. I'm in the streets, I see everything. And I know how it goes. Your dick and the pussy, you're going to perish in hell <laughs> if you drink. I'll leave you in that. <laughs> yes! Yes, he fight! Talk to me! Yes, he fight the legend! Yes, he fight was not playing! Your pussy! Hey, bring the camera some. Bring the camera. All the young girls who want to make life with pussy, your pussy will perish with you in hell. May your pussy perish with you. May your smooth pussy, creamy pussy, and tight pussy perish with you. Yeah. Church, 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 check in. Listen, if you like this exclusive content, make sure you go over to Patreon, become a member, and you're going to have unlimited access to all my banned from YouTube content, banned from the public. People cannot take this heat. We dropping straight heat, straight fire. You know how we do. Follow me on all social media platforms. The link is in the description. Again, join the Patreon. It's starting as low as $5. Join. Peace.